Hey, our greetings, guys, and welcome to another episode of the Breakdown with DJ Odyssey. Um, today, um, I just want to show you guys how I made this insane remix. I, I really love this remix. Um, this guy called Luke gave me his 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 separate and said he wants maybe a remix. So we decided on I'll do uh, an Ama piano remix for his song, which happens to be like a rap song and but he has flavor on it and uh, i love the song and I, I decided like you know what i'll do the remix and yeah man we loved it we even put it on online and then it will be available on online store very soon but for now you can get the song for free uh, the link is in the description you can download it yeah so i'll play you like the acapella of of what he gave me uh what i put in my afro studio before and then then i break it down how i actually came up with the remix how i actually worked on it the chords you know um the drums the other sounds and then yeah so without wasting time uh let me play you a little bit of just a little bit of the raps um alone in a cappella so that you can get an idea of where it comes from and then where it's going so yeah let's play the raps a little sweetie my love we've been together for spaganya you were the one that i found and i made you promise i never get the lana i'm fully committed i hope that you feel in the feeling i'm feeling because you know i really admire the truth and i never imagined that you got man on the side so let's get somewhere to a power where he's actually singing yana and then that's where the thing will actually get to. Hila wanyan, this part. Mamela san, mamela san. Bita malumbe ko luna ke bata huta ya san. Hila wanyan, hila wanyan. Mamela san, mamela san. Bita malumbe ko luna ribu wele nyalo san. So yeah, the name of the song is called Linyalo. Uh, Linyalo basically meaning uh, a wedding. Um, it's dope. And that's how it does its thing. So uh, now we, we try to break it down. I'm going to break it down with you. The first thing I had to do was actually come with the rhythm, um, the groove, you know. So basically the drums. Um, the first thing with the drums is that uh, let me just loop it somewhere here. Yeah, actually right here for now. And then that's how the drums got into the song. <laughs> so yeah i definitely got a kick from my from my, my piano sample pack um so this is one of my first time piano sample pack because it's written dj odyssey um so my second sample pack is do's so i'm just trying to make sure that it doesn't look very long on the on the rack here so yeah so Put in a kick to give me the rhythm as well. First, so the first thing I actually did, and then so that I can know where I'm going. But the kick still becomes low because it didn't give my piano. And the next thing was to put like this sound. So these are the percussions from a simple pack, which are basically made for my piano. So let me just switch off his um his acapella for now and then let's put this one as well and also edit this other percussion here as well. These are my Ama piano sample packs like percussions which are like made to Ama piano and it sounds like this. It's like a shake canyana then excuse me so yeah once you have something like this you're not trying to get something that's going to be too much when it comes to the drums and then the next thing that's going to make a drum will be the shaker and then it sounds like this so yeah and then i got the drums and then now the shaker as well you find it in my in my sample pack um, it's a loop. It's just a simple loop. I think you can even find it in my first sample pack. Some type of a shaker like this. Those free sample packs that I gave you, they have some shakers inside which you can also use, you know. 
um if you can't really afford only 50 bucks 50 rents put it like that or 3.99 dollars that's very cheap for my sample packs but anyway uh, we're not talking too much on those uh and then what i have to do again is um was to find the key of the song of which now is to get to the chords right so when it comes to the chords let me put them here um solo them as a pet in pattern mode and then so these are the roads in my in my sample pack as well these are some nice roads that i use mostly they sound like this these are the chords so yeah so i came up with these chords listening to his his key and then um so let's play the drums and everything else and i mean the, vo the vocals and the chords and it sounds like <laughs> it's very simple um that's how you actually just come into making remixes you know what i mean like firstly find the, the key so that everything that you're working on uh you will have the right key of the song and then from there normally i will add a pad just behind the chords using the same chords uh so the pad so the pad looks, sounds like, a, like an organ like, um, so the pad is expand let me put it on pattern mode it's called scanner pad sounds like an organ a little bit um that is why i try to use like an organ like when you use an organ you know it's either on a scary thing or you know weddings are made with organs most of the time and so i wanted it to be relevant to to what it's talking about so using an organ for me was yeah i need something that represents a wedding you know so yeah and then that's why i use this and then I still used an organ again another organ but so the song ended up sounding like this for now and then i don't know what else then i had to come up with this uh sound effect here you know how i do the sound effects if you follow my channel um so this goes to Pattern 11 where I just put a lot of reverb on the sound like a clap or a snare so this time it's a snare and then I also added some 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 snares and a timbre uh, in the eighth so it sounds like this and then on the eighth bar that's a timbre and a snare so they're playing together this timbre the snare i mean and then the timber they're playing at the same time so i guess the timber has this feed on it so that it can uh have a delay you know i hope you guys are learning something here yeah. um so once i'm here now uh that's how the song sounds like with these and then i think i probably came up with this bell here and then it sounds like this so it's a plug from uh it has to be nexus so from nexus it's called uk pikes inside plucked and then so it's more like the plugs are more like bells anyway but um they're different but if you check into this you'll see some things here a spell so that's why i call it a bell because it has a belly sound i don't know what i'm talking about belly or a bell but <laughs> you understand me as a bell sound like and then that's how you get to this point you know the eqing is also important because it was like this gets into the song but you still hear it and then so eqing i've explained some eq 
tapes and then so i just gave it a space into the song and then yeah again now i think i don't think i came with the with the guitar already i think maybe this log drum was the next thing to come through like a very simple log drum uh with an e flute just behind it and i'll show you how it looks inside the piano roll um this is how it looks in a piano roll so it's very simple but it makes the song a little bit like uh you have like that type of flavor so what i did have an e flute just behind it just to give it like a low part of it and then the e flute plays the same way you see you cannot live in here because it's it's a woofer now if you don't have a woofer or some real good monitor speakers you wouldn't even hear the flute now because it's playing it's playing at a very low frequency but it gives the song some weight yeah <laughs> it keeps the song is the root like i always say so uh i think that's what was next and then the next thing i had to do on top of this was uh maybe come up with a guitar so i love a guitar and i like the nylon guitar i don't know maybe i'm spanish by but i don't know but <laughs> i love this um let's play it alone first it sounds like this So yeah, it's very simple. So I actually play these things. So just you just do music and just have fun, make it simple, and then um, once the guitar is in the song, it sounds like this. And let's play that a cappella for now. <laughs> and then i think the next thing was the saxophone but you know the easiest saxophone play it very simple and it sounds like this the saxophone comes from um comes from It's opening, it's opening, guys. Opening is the solo tenor, and then that's how. Ela, Ela, Ela. And that's how it looks. Again, it's half a beat. Ela, Ela, Ela. Pizza malume kolona ribu weli nyalo sa. Ela, Ela. So I wanted something that gonna that's gonna come into the chorus a little bit, and then so that's why now they say like an organ will do, you know, not an an actual organ. I think I used D four, and then it sounds like this. Show you. So yeah, like this is how it sounds. Sounds dope. It's like Rick Ross will come in and say, oh. So yeah, one of the tricks with the organ is you want to make sure that it's on. It's not on slow, but it's on fast. When it's on slow, it doesn't have flavor as for this type of music. I wouldn't say it's not nice. I would say when it's on slow, it doesn't work for this type of music sometimes. Can you hear? This is on slow. And when you put it on fast, it has a tremolo on it so it trembles so it's very dope it's it's very dope it's like some hip-hop song is about to start and it's gonna be like oh hey man i don't know but yeah let me not speak too much into this but that's how it sounded using the same chords you know nothing changes remember man 
like the more you put this other sound into your song but they all have a different space in the eq like the eq gives you like what like how do we put this with the eq again um i'll explain again with the eq maybe something that i did not actually mention i think i did not say it right sometime some way you know so i'll explain it a little bit like how i understand it yeah so it's not like something that I don't know if you guys will learn in the school or something, but um, this is what it's all about. Like the EQ determines uh, even the space, like the distance on how you actually listen to to something, you know. So when something is in the club, uh, it's in the club playing from far, you don't really hear it. It's in the club, you're outside the club. You know what I mean? When you're inside the club, next to the speakers, everything is just hitting like that. You know what I mean? And then, so let's say you're getting closer to something. You hear it from far. It's like this. The more you get closer to it, the sound becomes like this it's not like the volume goes down or goes up but it's the frequencies that change you know so now it's up to you to decide on which sound you want people to hear afar and which sound you want people to hear very closer to 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 you so the eq helps you with that that's why i do cutoffs the the, the main thing when i do the cutoffs is for me to know like i want this sound to be behind the song just to back up to just to be a backup into the song and then the other sound i want people to actually hear it more and then the other one i want people to just hear it like it, it's as high as on it you you understand what i'm trying to say so you choose where you want this type of sound that you put in your song to be so um you find that you f- you put a very big lead and then it's very loud but you want to be, you want it in the song so you want it to be just behind most of the sounds so that's where you cut off the highs and then you actually are gonna have like your song sounding very nicely so you just do cutoffs just using cutoffs you actually are putting um a sound into its dynamic range into the song you know so that's that's how i can explain it so it's up to you where you want a a certain sound to be into the song you want it to be more head put the highs into it you want something not to be high too much make it more of the lows than the highs so yeah since we are on the organ yeah that's how it sounds on the song now i forgot where initially i wanted it to be into the song now i still have to listen to how it sounds into the song so that i can eq it a little bit more again so if i want this this organ to be behind to be behind like it's there but i want it to be behind everything i just use the eq you can hear it's behind it's not the main it's not the main attraction now you know but you want it to be there the the main thing with the organ was you you want people to hear the organ so you can hear it you want people to hear it you want people to jam to the song like using the organ you know so that was it like yes when i got it like that like yeah that's how you get it you like you got this and then uh i don't know what i've seen this, seen this song which i haven't opened up yet um it has to be this flute i guess and then the changing of the of the lock drum as well i guess but let's play the flute so um we go to the flute now it sounds like this 
So the flute comes from negus. Just flute natives. It's nothing major. And then this is how it looks uh, midi wise. So yeah, I think I've explained a lot on this. And then now that the the bass, I mean the lock drum changes to something more harder and it sounds like this. So let's get to the lock drum. Call this the climax part of the song, especially on my piano. You know how it changes. Now you want people to dance even more, so you use this type of a uh, lock drum, and then it's not much. The other one was just hitting, so that the song could keep on having some nice sound, like keep on going. But this one makes sure that people dance more. You know, you don't have to do too many dynamics. I know a lot of people want to use tara a lot, you know, but. It depends on you how you actually want your log drum to be like. I'm not a too dynamic. I'm not too dynamic on a log drum. I don't. I, I, honestly speaking, I don't like using a log drum that's too much, like too many, too many dynamics, up and downs or anything. I just want people to dance, you know. So I know you guys want to use like some crazy stuff use them man when they work for you use them it's like pe people that use the 808 some people use the 808 with a lot of lights you know and then it's crazy you know and then some people just want it to be that um, just straight up so you decide which person you want to be you know so on this i just decided like yeah i want it to be crazy but not way too crazy you know and then i salute everyone who does whatever they do man um I'm proud of you guys. I've heard your music, people. You guys are amazing. Maybe I should do another remix challenge, but soon. Um, I'm still trying to figure out which track I want to do a remix for. So another thing on this thing is I had to do a chop on his vocals, and I took the chops here, and then it sounds like this. <laughs> So that is not an original song, so I had to just chop it, you know. So when you do a remix, you are free to do whatever you want to do, you know. Chop the vocals, change the key if you have to, do what you gotta do, you know. Be creative. I think that's what makes you, people stand stand out. <laughs> In when they do remixes so you have to stand up and um, I didn't do much as well but I didn't want it to sound like I just took an acapella and put a new beat on the song and then I call it a remix I don't know what we call that so when you do a remix be creative and do your thing so I just did one thing just to make sure that at least <laughs> it's different you know I'll try and never fit but anyway what haven't I opened up? Or oh, the snare here. And it sounds like this. So the snare is just like the log drum in a way, but just straight. And that's it. That's, that's how it sounds. And I don't know what else I need to show you guys. It's just a little raw. Yeah, I think that's it. That's, that's the whole song. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this remix. Hopefully, I'll see you guys remixing a lot of songs. Um, I think I'm going to do uh, a section, a segment or something on the channel, which is all about me giving you guys remixes that I've I've been doing over the few weeks or months. You know, sometimes I like to play around, maybe do like an, a remix of a song which is famous. And so those are the type of things I like to do when I'm when I'm free, you know. 
just to get creative and sometimes it also helps that when you do a remix of a famous song like you do a beat on top of those vocals it also helps you to actually say i nah, man these vocals they're good but they will cost me copyright so i take them off and then i find a vocalist that can actually sing something different and you have um, a different song because it is a different song you just got inspired by maybe an acapella from somebody else and then yeah man those are other things that you can do to actually get creative and get ideas into making music so otherwise yeah this is the song uh let me play it for you play the remix and then but mina i'm out i'll see you guys on my next tutorial i should be dropping new symbol pack soon again thank you very much for your support and Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. Um, we're growing. Maybe next week, two weeks from now, we'll be on 6,000. Uh, I really appreciate that, guys. I really do. I really, 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 really do. And, yeah. Let's meet on my next tutorial. Mina. Me for me, You will promise I never get the lana. I'm fully committed. I hope that you feel in the feeling I'm feeling. Cause you know I really admire the truth. And I never imagined that you got men on the side. Body we better got man get a yola. Body o pila le man get a yola. Got all my time and attention no more. The narrow life is like it push it to go. You will never got a stress about a mother girls. I never give up on the way that I look at you, girl. The way that I see you, girl. I'm loving your manners. I'm done with your flaws, and I bet that the Lord done just made you for me. I would do it for We started out as a fling But now I'm thinking Lignalo sa Who would have thought You were the one I would do it for We started out as a fling But now I'm thinking Lignalo sa Yeah.